What's good people? Welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be the first full Dubai vlog. Been here uh, just over a week now, so settling in. Um, but today I'm going to go through a bit of a full day of eating at my favourite places in Dubai, so not at home. I've been eating at home every day since I've been here, so we're going to go and eat out today. Uh, I'll take you to some of my favourite spots. We've got 3,500 calories to hit. Uh, I am two and a half weeks into my recomp or fat loss or tidy up phase, pre prep phase, whatever you want to call it. So we'll take you through that day, bit of a day in the life, bit of a full day of eating, should be nice. Uh, but first, it is check-in day. So I'm about to take my check-in shots in my new, uh, very unique little spot actually. I've not seen anyone else do this, so it might just be me here. Check-in shots here, then we'll head off and do cardio, and then we'll get the day kicked off. But uh, first of all, let's check in. Without question, the hardest thing about going from physique to classic is the fucking posing, man. Oh my god. So I was in my stills there, then I've done a video, and then I'm just trying to piece together some poses, you know. And uh, and I told myself while I was doing that, you know, it feels fucking hard now, right? Every single time you do that rep, it feels easier and you get more and more familiar. Um, it's so easy for me to be doing this and thinking, what the fuck am I doing? I haven't got a fucking clue. But actually, I know that if I just show up every single week from now until the day I compete, you know, multiple times a week, maybe daily at some point, definitely will be daily at some point, you know, but then only multiple times a week and just try and work out foot positioning, try and work out how to go from one pose to another. Those patterns are gonna form in my brain and you know, ultimately I'll, I'll get better at it. And I'll look like a more polished poser and that's what I want to do this year. So we practice away, but that's it. I mean, that might as well have been fucking cardio. I don't know my heart rate's up now, but Jesus. Let's go do some Cardi B. Now, when it comes to cardio, I was always team Stairmaster. I thought, yeah, it's the most efficient way we burn the most calories in the quickest time. Fantastic. What's not to like? I'll tell you what's not to like. The fact that it will waste away your legs, I believe. Um, and I now think cardio, particularly, uh, not particularly, but more specifically for heavier individuals, so open bodybuilders, classic bodybuilders. Bigger physique, not as important, because your legs aren't that important, but now they are more important. You know, maybe the female division, bikini, like you're gonna need something to get your heart rate up, but for bigger guys, it's not going to be hard to get a heart rate up. So, I would avoid the stairmaster like the plague, to be quite honest. Uh, I think I'm team cross trainer. I think it's the least, uh, it's kind of the perfect balance between high, highly efficient and low impact. You know, uh, I, I really struggle with ink, I'm walking, it's not very comfortable for me. Um, bike is obviously very localized to your legs, but you feel like cross trainer, you know, you're not going for a massive range of motion with your legs. So you're probably not causing too much damage uh, and obviously your, your priority for someone who wants to keep hold of their legs needs to be your training performance and your training legs and uh, you know if you're, if you're forever fatiguing yourself on the Stairmaster that's not going to work. I hope you can hear me over that Hoover, isn't that very frustrating, I can barely hear myself. Anyway that's cardio done, um, let's go have uh, a little 10 minute vacuum routine mobility routine and then uh, we will get 
over to Marina and finally start eating because I'm fucking hungry, man. Okay, that's good. We're done. Let's get that fucking aircon on, lad. Tell you what I do like about this little. We've got a Q5, Audi Q5, it's nice. Um, I love this like wood trim. I think it's beautiful. I feel like we need more of that in the world. We need more wood trim. Alright, so if any of you can do anything about that, more wood trim. Let's see it, please. Let's see it, please. Okay, Marina. That, but of course, once you dive into that, you realize, well, you know. All right, stop one. I know you've seen this before, but we're in expectations, JBR. I'm obviously gonna get a fat on that, which basically will be the same as my meal one anyway. So I'll have six egg whites, two eggs, and then, uh, beef bacon and a bit of cheese and a bit of veg and I'll get it with fruit rather than potatoes and I'll have a little bit of gluten free bread and that will be meal one we've got potentially the keenest waiter of all here nice guy obviously um, but yeah it's a nice spot here I would recommend it to anyone who likes eggs they don't just do eggs they do lots of other stuff but I have only had eggs here um, and the best thing about it is it's like highly customizable and they don't they're not bothered it's not like oh can i change this and they're like mm. i don't know what the, i don't know what the standard omelet is but i have six egg whites two whole eggs i remove the mushroom and then i have the cheese the peppers and the onions um will i be able to perfectly track it no but i have a pretty good idea if i put six eggs six whites in two holes i don't track veg at this stage of the year anyway uh, and then i'll put like 30 grams of cheese in which i'm sure is enough uh, and like 10 grams of olive oil and then I'm sure that I will be under with that rec with that uh, estimate so with that said meal one will be six egg white two whole eggs I'll put coconut oil in because that's what I've been using so we'll go two teaspoons 10 grams I'm sure that'll be more than enough beef bacon beef bacon rashers 30 grams I think it's not 30 grams in there. 20 grams of beef bacon. Um, I don't know what the cheese is here, man. It's like, I think it's Gruyere. Here we go, Gruyere cheese. So, 30 grams of that, 120 calories. 130 calories. And then fruit salad, 150 grams. The fruit's good here as well. 150 grams of fruit salad. And then gluten-free bread. Tom told me it's, it's definitely char as well. Char brown loaf, there we go. And I'll have four slices of that, I think. 820 calories, Elbosch. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. My name is uh, DJ. DJ. You're sober today. Can you do food, food vlogging? Yeah. <laughs> Legend, there we Soon. go. Soon, oh, I will start it. You've not started yet? I didn't start it, I, I have a plan. I'm uh, going to travel soon some other country to work in Europe somewhere, so I'll start it. Great. I will tell you my channel and then you need to put a comment on this video. Yeah. Just tell me I your, do that your, then your I channel. I subscribe. Virgin. Bro's going to be famous. Someone said that to me the other day. They were like, oh, we're going to be famous. I was like, nah, not off my YouTube, you're not. <laughs> Maybe after this year. I've got big goals. 125k on YouTube this year. Still to this day, man. My favourite meal in Dubai. You know, people ask me all the time, oh, is Dubai expensive? Is it all, like, all fancy and pretentious? Well, no, not if you come to expectation and get an omelette. I'm here in my shorts, my training shorts. God, I love it, man. We 
it's not all Jew wagons and Euros, it's uh, sometimes expectation down, down the beach. No prizes on this one, Protein House. You've probably heard about this if you've been anywhere near by it ever. Um, macro friendly. Not sure I trust their numbers, but it's the best we've got. Um, I've gone for the Cajun barbecue bowl, which comes with rice and veg. Sounds nice. Uh, I'm, I'm being a bit tactical with the calories here because we're going out for dinner later. We, Josh and Harley, are going to Smoky Mote, which is a Korean barbecue place, which sounds bang. So, you're getting a full day of eating. I've not had a single meal at home, which is terrible. Call the police on me. Um, but we still get the job done. And uh, I'm excited for this meal because I'm very hungry. Yeah, I'm in the Dubai Hills branch. They were all over there. There's one in uh, Art Russell, there's one here. One in DIFC, they were all over the place. So uh, this is a good one. Um, I'm yet to explore the other like, healthy food kitchens, but this is a, this is a good one. So I'll let you know how the meal goes. Pretty good. Five hundred and forty one calories. 46 protein, 73 carb, and 7 fat. Um, on reflection, I actually think that's pretty accurate. I reckon there's about 150, 160 cooked chicken grams here, some veg, maybe 150 grams of cooked rice. And then I reckon the most, well, the rest of the carb is coming from this barbecue sauce, which I must admit is pretty good. But that puts me on about 1,300 calories for the day which leaves me with like 2,000 to pay with for dinner. 2,200, so we're in a good spot. What's next, Joe? The plan's changed. The plan's changed. <clears throat> on my way back to the car, Josh voice noted me saying, hate to be that guy, can we do it tomorrow instead? So the vlog's ruined, uh, to be honest, because obviously today was going to be a full day of eating out. Thanks Josh. No, I'm just joking. Uh, we will adapt. I'm, I'm actually happy with it, to be honest. I have to check out of here tomorrow morning and go to the next place, which is in Dubai Creek, which I'm excited for. That might That's like a high contender for where, where we'll settle for good, which is cool. Um, but obviously that means I have to like pack tonight. It would be nice to actually get some chill time. I've been pretty flat out with work actually. Like genuinely not that. I was actually thinking as I walked in, I'd like to just sit, gather my thoughts. Um, but yeah, so we've had the two meals and it now just means I've got a lot of calories to you, which is fine. I've ordered from, uh, I've gone on delivery, so we keep them with the theme of not eating at home. The only thing I will eat here is protein powder, which I'll show you my fat selection of. Um, I've ordered from a restaurant called Cal, as in like K-Cal, like calories, uh, which is good because I was actually meaning to go to this restaurant all week, but the locations of them are like in busy areas where traffic is no bueno. So I've ordered low carb chicken tenders and a, a chicken katsu which I'm pretty fucking excited for, to be honest. From a calorie perspective on here, sorry, I don't know why I do that. Uh, I think it's I've been on my own for a few days now and I'm getting a bit, you know what I mean? It gets a bit like that. Low carb chicken tenders, uh, 48 protein, 14 fat, 13 carb, and then the katsu literally comes with a salad, so I'm gonna be having hella cereal, which makes me excited. Uh, the katsu calories are, come on bro, where the hell are you, here we go, uh, 406 calories, 42 protein, 25 carbs, 16 fat, so that's pretty good, so I'm getting a nice like 90 gram hit of protein here with this meal, um, 
about 30 grams of fat in total, which is fine because I've not really had any fat today, other than the cheese and the beef bacon, uh, and then uh, 25 carbs. So we're looking good, man. I'll punch that in, and then when I sit down for that meal, I'll let you know what the totals are looking like, yeah? All right, boss. There we go, the eye fillets and the eye fillets from Raw. These are what I got yesterday from Medex. Uh, I've already finished the top of the birthday cake one, it's decent. It's just a little artificially tasting as you often find in birthday cake stuff. So we got a uh, vanilla oatmeal cookie. I think I've had that before and I think it's banging. Peanut butter, which I tried last night and it is banging, and then cookies and cream. Um, I will just have peanut butter again tonight because I want to keep these sealed because I can't be asked with with all that nonsense um, but yeah obviously this is not a full day of eating this is a full day of my favorite places to eat out in Dubai when trying to be healthy now the good good news sort of such bad news for me is that Joe actually put my calories down <laughs> he put my calories down 3000 today so I've got uh, after this meal arrives I actually only have 900 calories left that's okay that's not too bad I will just change that up now um, but what I'll do is uh, I'll show you this final meal and then we will call it a day because I, my friends, am bloody tired to be honest with you. I really am bloody tired. So uh, yeah, we'll finish the day on about 260 protein, 375 carb, 50 fat. But of course I will take you through this final meal from, from KCAL and then I'll, I'll get some protein down me and I'll head off to bed because I'm absolutely goosed to be honest and it's moving day tomorrow so that's that all right people let's see what kcal is saying we've got the low carb chicken tenders we've got the kcal katsu which is feeling very light and then we got a little house green salad with some sort of dip Oh, that would be the katsu sauce, of course. Oh man, I'm fucking very excited for this. Let's, uh... Uh, see what it's saying. What should we start with? Two contenders, obviously. Right, how many do you get? Wow. Fantastic. You get four. That's what they look like. Looks like I come with some gnarly little barbecue sauces. Oh, let's see how. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Um. I don't know why. Because I knew. I knew they were coated in cheese and not breadcrumbs, but I was really hoping for a bit of crunch. There you go. Very nice all the same. This alarm keeps going off. Dear, yeah, I don't know if it's legit or not. I wish it had stopped that, I'm really just trying to chill out, do you know what I mean? thing is, I can't even tell what it's saying. I can't get into that. We'll save that. The chicken katsu, no one cares what a house green salad tastes like anyway. Okay, this looks good. So, <clears throat> the chicken is coated in, I believe, almond flour. Yeah. That's nice. I mean, it's still not um, crunchy. Hmm. That looks good though. Oh yeah. Sorry, my manners are terrible. 
Let's try the katsu. Mmm. Wow, ladies and gentlemen. It's pretty damn tasty. Okay, people, it's nearly 10 p.m. It's about time I went to bed. So let's wrap up. I finished the day with food only from outside of my flat uh, on 2,140 calories, of which 187 was protein. Since getting home, I've had some pineapple and some blueberries, blueberries some casein powder and some isolate. Uh, and I've ended the day on 262 calories, 283 carbs and 95 grams of fat. So we are done for the day. That is me done. All right, people. I'm going to bed now. I hope you enjoyed that. Did a little, little, little something, something a little, little different. Uh, I'm going to do actually a full, like, actual day of eating, normal, full day of eating, um, and also we'll obviously show you the new gaff and, and keep you updated. So, thanks for watching. If you come to Dubai, go to the places that I ate because you'll like them. Peace out. I'll see you in the next one.